Now Mussolini wanted complete control. The prime minister's job was not enough, yet he still had to contend with the king and with parliament, which he threatened just one month after he came to power. Parliament knew it was overmatched. It turned over to the wildly popular Mussolini many of its powers to govern. Mussolini wanted control over every aspect of the government, so when he began building his cabinet, he chose men he knew he could trust. He's told one of his fascists that if ever I have to appoint someone to any job and I have a chance of appointing a morally good man or a scoundrel, I'd always prefer the scoundrel because I can blackmail the scoundrel. And when his fascist ministers lined their own pockets, Mussolini looked the other way. Revolutions are not made by saints, he explained. Mussolini ruled as he had claimed he'd won power through violence. Fifty opposition members of parliament were physically attacked, and three were killed. And in 1924, this violence nearly brought him down. That June, a socialist in parliament named Giacomo Mattiati blasted Mussolini's regime. He would say, look, this fascist regime is financially corrupt, it is cruel, it is killing people, it is a disaster. And Mussolini could not allow that sort of information to get abroad. On June 10, 1924, Mattiati was murdered. Mussolini claimed he knew nothing about it. For the first time, the public turned against Mussolini. Several men were quickly arrested for the murder, but only one served a short term in prison. To the fascists, they were heroes. But if Mussolini didn't order the murder directly, there's little doubt of his involvement. Mussolini needed the murder of Mattiotti. I would think that a good advocate would have Mussolini uh, convicted in a matter of hours, or days rather, on the evidence we have. I mean, he actually hired murderers to sit outside Parliament, and these are the people who killed Mattiotti. Just over a year later, Mussolini made sure his political opponents would never again be a threat. Mussolini abolishes all political parties except the fascists as Italy becomes a totalitarian state. Opposition was illegal by definition. It didn't exist. There was only one party which it was mandatory to belong to. Nobody could teach in school, be a civil servant, a government employee, unless one carried the card of the fascist party. Mussolini's popularity now faltered. Between 1925 and 1926, he escaped three attempts on his life. In this picture, Mussolini wears a bandage over his nose, where it was grazed by a bullet. But with his superb political skills, Mussolini won the people back. Mussolini would always know how to adapt to his audience, always. He'd know how to fit in, even at the price of contradicting himself continually. It made Mussolini a very cunning politician.